Did you call Britt? Of course I called her. I also texted her and she's not answering. Rude. Well, maybe there's an emergency at the hospital. Then call the hospital. Finally. Who is it? Maxie? Maxie, it's me. Are you okay? What is he doing here? I don't know. Maxie? What's going on? It's late, Peter. I was sleeping. Oh. Uh, well, now that you're up, could, could you come open the door, please? I, I brought you a present. Oh, my God. You have to hide. Okay, Peter thinks we're enemies, and I'm running out of my quota of excuses. What are you doing? You said you were sleeping. Just giving you bedhead. Go. Okay. You were sleeping. Hi. Who's here with you? What are you talking about? There's no one with me here except for James. I heard voices, Maxie. Oh, you know what? I fell asleep listening to a podcast, and just now it took me forever to figure out how to turn it off. Is this my surprise? I was walking by, saw the lights on. Thought you might have a craving. It's a butter pecan milkshake from the all-night diner on the corner. I remember you telling me that you were craving butter pecan when you were pregnant with uh, James and George. Thank you. But you know what? I really should uh, get some sleep. I need my beauty rest. Yeah, I really don't like hearing that you're falling asleep with all the lights on. It tells me you're too tired to turn them off. You oh. really need to be taking care of yourself. <laughs> no, no. I, I was looking at resumes for the live-in nurse. Um, I, I actually found someone I'm going to interview tomorrow, right there on top of the pile. Oh, good. Just the one? Uh, she seems pretty perfect on paper, as long as she doesn't have a belly chain. She's it. <laughs> I'm going to put this stuff in the kitchen. Um, I'll share it with James tomorrow. I'm really glad that you made a decision about the, the live-in nurse. I, I only want what's best for you and the baby to keep you safe and happy, Maxie. I know. I really should get some sleep. I know when I'm not wanted. Kiss James goodnight for me. Of course. that you were here, but this is why we need Brit. She could be our go-between. How? Well, you are still gonna need an OBGYN, so it makes sense that you would go to Brit. Well, do you trust her to keep my non-pregnancy a secret? Brit wants my baby away from Peter as much as I do. She will go along with our plan to pretend that you gave birth to Louise. While well, you pretend your baby died. Okay. Sounds good. Brit works. Okay, one huge problem. She's not here. 